This morning, Stanley Warden from Subsurface Imaging Company Limited, a seasoned expert with nearly 40 years of experience studying landslides across the region, joins us on now to share crucial insights into the types, causes and impacts of landslides. Of course, we're going to pay special attention to the North Coast Road. So tune in for this enlightening discussion on what we can describe definitely as an urgent topic. Good morning. How are you? Good morning. Thank you very much. And I'm fine. It's a pleasure to have you with us on the show this morning because this is something, as we were just discussing off air, everybody has been talking about. And let's be real about it. One of the first things that came to mind is, well, how am I getting to the beach? Or for some people, how am I getting home? Mm -hmm. How am I getting to businesses? So it's great that you are with us to focus on this. But before we get into that, I want to talk a little bit about the fact that your company was accepted as part of the Arise Network. Yes. Can you share with us a little bit about that? Right, so the Arise Network is part of the UN Disaster R um, Risk Reduction um, Program, right? And the Arise itself um, it comprises a number of members um, from business, right? Who they um, sort of um, incorporated into the program in terms of trying to sensitize the population and also to bring awareness to disasters and disaster risk reduction. Right. This is all part of you know, the um, sustainability and um, uh, concepts regarding uh, disasters and how they impact communities. Well, we're going to come back to the sustainable development goals as well mm -hmm. a little bit later. But before we get to that, can you share with us the difference between a landslide and a landslip? if there is a difference at all. Yes, and thank you very much. And it's one of my peeves in terms of, you know, when I read the uh, newspapers, articles, and I must commend also the journalists, you know, who go out there and who keep the nation abreast of what is happening with regard to the impact of landslides on the population. But landslips and landslides are used synonymously sometimes, right? However, um, the International Commission, who is responsible for landslides, have indicated that the word landslide right, incorporate a number of different types of land movement. Landslips, to me, it, it, it appears as if it's a sort of a local terminology, meaning used by different countries. Mm -hmm. But I think it is used because it denotes some sort of a movement. Right? But when I, you consider a landslide, a landslide is made up of all different types of um, rock movement. Right? One, it involves rocks. It involves um, the subsurface. Okay? It's an entity, and um, it involves different forces. So there's a lot of geo, um, sorry, physics involved mm -hmm. in terms of driving forces and resistant forces and all the other um, um, types of, um, like, for instance, agents like water. Right? which contribute to the, the, the failure of a slope. So right. a landslide incorporates, based on terminology, um, different types of um, rock movement, rock and soil movement, um, rock slides, uh, rock falls, um, debris slides, debris flows, soil creep. Okay, and um, so there's a, a, a wide range. And personally, and I said it's one of my pet peeves, I would rather use the word landslide because when I say landslide and I read about landslide, my mind started to tick, you know, in terms right. of it could be this one, it could be that one. When you say landslip, it's like, what does that mean, you know? Oh, so, yeah. so, you know, like recently in um, South, uh, a gentleman died, um, rest his soul, um, because he was in a trench and the soil fell right. on him, right? Yes. So the journalist wrote, you know, and they describe it. So the, the, well, the point is, how do you describe that? Mm -hmm. You know, is that a landslide? Is yeah. that a landslip? What is it? So, so you know, I, you know I, I'm happy for the opportunity to uh, at least bring that to the fore because, you know, in Trinidad, we are plagued by landslides over uh, time immemorial in terms of developments. And I think we need to really understand the terminology, particularly those who are reporting it and those who are uh, discussing it. Agreed, 100%. And you can hear that 39 years of experience coming through yes. Stanley. Yes. And one can imagine how it can be a bit perturbing, especially yes. when you look at the tragedy of the events, yes. how it's described and what it could also allude to in the future. Yes. So let's go back to the most recent publication of yeah. the landslide yeah. on the North Coast. What are your thoughts on that? Okay, so when I first read about it, uh, well, first of all, I did a study of the entire Northern Range in 1980, 80, let's say 87, okay. right? It was during uh, an El Nino year, meaning mm. that the, you know, the, the area was dry, lots of fires, and landslides just popped out like that. So I did a very in-depth study based on geology, engineering, and also a geomorphology on the impact of man. 
So when I first read about that story, I said, hmm, is it one of my landslides? I call them my landslides because I know them all. <laughs> and um, I, uh, so I, I, I drew up along the, the North Coast Road and I took a look at it. Uh, and when I look at it, it was a simply debris slide right, that occurred from much higher up on the slope. The slopes are very, very, uh, very steep. Yeah. So when I looked at it and I put everything into um, context in terms of the re response in the newspaper and, you know, should be close off the road and uh, traffic may have to go all the way to Blanchish, I wondered um, what the, that response was. Was it an appropriate response? And it could be just a case of not knowing exactly what happened, right? So I, I think that we all need to um, become more versed in terms of landslides mm -hmm. and in the, on the North Coast Road, what are the impacts, uh, the different types of landslides and the danger that they may pose. For this particular one, the road was not impacted in terms of it falling away. It was right. just the debris on the road. Now you mentioned something there, danger, which is something that is at the back of everybody's mind when these things happen. So um, tell me, what would you say or how would you gauge the safety of traversing the North Coast Road with the ongoing situation? Right. Well, one, I had written an article in the Disaster Management Journal on the North Coast Road, right? And what I had done at that time, I uh, utilized information that I had um, generated from, uh, from before. With regard to the North Coast Road, there are different, certain spots along the road which can be dangerous. Mm -hmm. We have read about, in the newspapers, about a large boulder or boulders falling from high up on the slope and either it hit a minibus or something like that, or people got injured, they were on the way to, uh, to Blanchiches. The North Coast Road can be dangerous, right? And um, it, uh, apparently it can be dangerous at different times of the year because this event occurred in December when mm -hmm. there were not heavy rains. There were not, um, you know, uh, major events like um, those um, tropical waves, you know, that dump a lot of water. So um, in terms of the North Coast Road, I would um, say that um, travelers should um, pay particular attention right, to the safety along the road. Be aware that this road um, provides beautiful scenery, but it's also, it could be a dangerous road. Mm -hmm. So um, yeah, so, so, so to me, um, the North Coast Road needs some attention with regard to identifying those areas that are at risk or susceptible to the different kinds of landslides, different mm -hmm. kinds, rockfall, debris slides, debris flows. And so, on. so essentially for us who are just traversing this road, perhaps to for business, for mm -hmm. pleasure, or just to go home, it's a case of being as aware as possible you of your surroundings as well. Because yeah. when you speak of that which happened previously, of a boulder yeah. falling, I mean, there's nothing really that can be done to control that except for effective management, yes. correct? Yes. And again, you know, it all um, fits into the Sendai frame, framework for disaster risk um, um, uh, management, yeah. whereby the public and this is like part of advocacy. The public needs to realize what their surroundings are, as you said, they need to, they need to understand the risk involved. They need to understand what, um, what actions that they should take in the event of a landslide, you know, be it for business or be it for business people, small, medium um, enterprises or for people traversing to get to their different um, homes. Okay, now let's talk about landslides and sustainable development goals. Do you see any gaps when it comes to that in Trinidad and Tobago? I see a lot of gaps and um, this is part of the reason why I'm here, you know, I've been holding back, you know, it's like uh, I need to say something, you know, but um, I think what the trigger was was just being accepted to be part of that Arise framework, which is part of the UNDRR, which is the United Nations Dis um, Disaster Risk Reduction. Right, and um, we really need to, um, to uh, develop um, correct, right, accurate susceptibility and risk maps Right, based on um, very, um, I use the word simply, good data. Yeah. You know, data where you have um, some sort of a, um, um, a detail in terms of the risk along uh, the road, so that you know pedestrians, uh, business people could understand where the risk exists, and they can take the necessary uh, precautions. You know, in terms of traveling time during very heavy rainfall when you have these tropical waves or uh, hurricanes days after in terms of um, time when the soil is heavily saturated. But they have to know where the uh, you know, um, possibilities of rock falls in particular because some of those um, slopes are very, very steep. Um, 
These roads were built in the 1940s by the American ACVs, C- yes. and they had a lot, a lot of problems, you know, um, uh, constructing uh, these roads. Right? Definitely. And the problems uh, continue. Something that you mentioned there that we all continue to say is how long ago this road was built and what we need to do as well to ensure that we stay safe. Stanley, thank you for joining us this morning. It's been a pleasure. Stanley Wharton from Subsurface Imaging Company Limited talking to us about landslips, the difference with landslips and how we can stay safe. Stay tuned. Some auditions are coming up next.